This video is about how NPN and PNP sensors are interfaced with the wiring to PLC input cards. In this example on the screen here, we've got two NPN type sensors, and you can see the transistor symbol that's shown in there. There's, a, there's the small arrow at the bottom of the transistor, which indicates that this is an NPN type. And that tells us the current direction. So when the sensor turns on, whether it's a proximity sensor that detects an object, or if it's a limit switch where there's something physically being bumped, or a light sensor, whatever the physical side of the sensor is, once the circuit turns on, we're gonna have a current that starts flowing through the transistor in this direction. And the circuit has been set up so that, obviously as the current flows down there, it's got a return path to ground at the bottom, or to our zero volts. And if we trace this current back through our green signal wire along here, you can see the current flowing through this optocoupler device. So this here is our optocoupler, which is inside the PLC, and that's there for protecting the PLC sensitive circuits from any voltages or any spikes or surges that are out in the outside world. So when this transistor and our sensor is turned on, we're getting our current flowing through the LED that's in the sensor, and the flow of that current is going to be activating the, the rest of the circuits inside the PLC and turning on the memory that's associated with that particular wire. So because of the direction of this current, this type of PLC input is known as sourcing. So you can remember that it's sourcing because here's our PLC our PLC input that's in this green box and the current is flowing out of here. This will be the terminal on the PLC. In this case, it's number zero because we're looking at input number zero. Down here, we've got input number one. So this would be input number one on the circuit. The other part that you can tell in here is that we've got a common connection between these two different inputs. So we draw a box around this one for our, this is our input number one. The red wire is our common positive connection. So that's often indicated as plus V. Or in our PLC terminals, we'll have another terminal here with a plus V label on it. So that's one way of distinguishing any sourcing PLC input is going to have this positive voltage common. Whereas if we're looking at the opposite type down here, our syncing PLC input. This one, the common connection that's shown in here, this is a negative common. So again, we'd have our two separate numbered inputs where our different sensors are going to be wired into. And we have what's usually labeled as COM, or you might see it being zero volts. So this one is a common part of all of the PLC input circuits. You can see here as well that we've changed the type of transistor. We've got a PNP transistor where the arrow points into the transistor and that's our current flow direction. So we still have current flowing through our sensor and flowing up and into our PLC. It's gonna activate the PLC circuit and the connections are just slightly different. These are all based on three wire type of sensors. So this time we have a positive supply, which is wired directly through inside our, inside our sensor, through the transistor, out through this, this signal wire. And our sensors must have a zero volt connection in there as well. Without that zero volts, the rest of the internal circuitry isn't gonna work right. So there's a key difference for us between using syncing and sourcing on our PLC. So remember we've always got these separate parts. Our PLC circuit, if it's syncing, the current is flowing from the outside world into the PLC, into the numbered channels. So there's number one. Here, the current's flowing in to number zero. And if we flow back up here, this is our sourcing PLC. And each of the numbered terminals here has the current flowing out from the PLC. So the, in this case, the PLC itself is acting as a source for that current. So that's the easiest way to distinguish it. Once you know the current direction, then you know 
you have to have, in this case, a positive voltage for your common. So hopefully that helps with um, remembering the difference between syncing and sourcing for PLC inputs and learning a bit about NPN and PNP sensors.